All right, let's go. So before I begin today, I would like to call your attention to my resting buff. Let's get it off. There is no no resting buff. And boom, at 19 minutes and 40 seconds, I got the resting buff. Now, the reason why I did that is I want to establish that it takes 20 seconds for the resting buff to turn into the rested buff. So let's just wait a few more seconds and we should see the timer reset on the rested buff going from the 19, boom, there it is right there, 20 minutes. So yes, it takes 20 seconds for the resting buff to turn into the rested buff. So let's keep that in mind. Now this video is about comfort throughout your base. And in the past, I try to get maximum comfort all throughout the base. And that's not really what's important. Because if we look, we can see the rest of the buff is at 20 minutes. And as soon as I step into the hallway here, where the comfort is 15, it immediately jumps up to 22 minutes. So instead of trying to get a maxed rested buff throughout the entire base, what, I've now, what I'm now doing is just trying to get the max right before I leave the base. So I normally leave bases through portals. And so what I now try to do is just make sure I get max comfort right before I leave the base because we see the rested buff just immediately spiked up to 25 minutes. If we're walking through the base and we lose max comfort, the timer will start to drop down. But as long as we maintain that resting buff, we'll be fine. So sure, my timer could drop down. I could stay in here for the next 10 minutes doing whatever I'm doing putting the rested buff at like, let's say 15 minutes. Doesn't matter because as soon as I'm ready to leave the base, boom, I'll hit max and it'll immediately jump back up to 25 minutes. So the reason why I wanted to stress that it takes 20 seconds for the resting buff to turn into the rested buff is because if in your base, I know where I'm gonna lose comfort. If in your base somewhere you actually lose comfort, you'll have to wait another 20 seconds. So just make sure that you always have some kind of resting buff throughout the base. And then just make sure right before you leave the base, you spike it up to whatever maximum you can get. And you should be fine from there. Um, this is my R portal. I usually have an R portal in the base. So that way, when I'm out and about doing my questing, if I find myself getting into any trouble, I always make sure I carry enough for a crafting table and portal so that way if i find myself in trouble i can kind of keep moving whip out the crafted table maybe dance around it while i'm getting chased by whatever if they're not attacking the table and then whip out the portal get as much distance as i can from them drop that portal make it a quick r maybe dance around that a little bit and then as soon as that connects boom i step through maybe lose a port the crafting table maybe lose a portal but at least you're safe so yeah, that is it. Just make sure that you have the max resting or rested, whatever. Make sure you have max comfort just right before you leave the base. Make sure you don't lose resting as you walk throughout your base and you'll be fine. So that is it for today. Take it easy.